What's up guys? Um, we're here cleaning an isomatic ice machine. Um, this is not one of my favorite machines to clean um, just because the parts a little bit harder to take out and disassemble. Uh, if you look at my other video, uh, one of my other restaurants uh, with a different brand, it's just and they make everything so simple. All the pump, everything drops down, everything, all the electrical unclips. So um, this one is pretty um, self forward, but at the same time, um, it just, I don't feel like you're getting as clean as the other one. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is turn off the water. Now guys, make sure you're doing this every six months. Um, another thing is too, um, I did it in another video also. I changed my filter, water filter, back here. Uh, you do so just by untwisting this. There's a cartridge that sits inside um, and you'll actually uh, just replace the cartridge, not that outside casing. Second thing I already did, my ice zone. Um, there's a little uh, UV bulb in there that uh, the water passes through, it kills the germs. This cover comes off. I can make another video of that also. Um, but those bulbs should also be replaced every six months. Hit this to purge the water out of the tray. Um, the tray sits down here. There is a little bit more water coming out. Once that comes out and stops, we'll just purge this so it's all the way out. So now I've turned it back to the off position. Everything's purged out. So you want nickel safe ice machine cleaner, Amazon purchase. Um, you want to portion out how much per machine. So look at the specs on your machine uh, based on the size. This is a big boy. Um, so this one's going to take a little bit more than usual. Uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to pour that into the tray here. So now that the, the cleaner is in here, uh, you're going to set to wash. You're going to wait 15 minutes. So what the machine is doing is pumping up through the the uh, ice mold here and the tray um, and I'm just gonna let it sit for 15 minutes okay 15 minutes and counting all right guys so during that downtime I took a minute and I walked around the entire kitchen and I just looked at a bunch of stuff that I didn't like or was dirty or whatever else so if you're doing this yourself and you need something to do in between I made a list uh, I'm going to leave this for my guys to make sure that they clean up some random things that they don't normally see or pay attention to. So, just a thought um, to keep you busy. Any second now, this timer should go off. There it is right there. So, now your next step, guys, um, is you're going to turn your water back on. We're going to purge this cleaner out of here. You can see... I think they, I'm pretty sure they tinted green so that um, you know when you're, when you're uh, completely cleaned out. So I'm gonna sit there and purge that out. You hear that pump working? That's it cycling out all the water. I stopped the purge, I'm gonna let this fill one more time quickly. Now I'm gonna purge it. Water's gonna go back off now, guys. I'm gonna turn the unit to off here. Now this is the fun part. Um, I'm gonna take all these parts off and we're gonna soak them in a cleaner that I have. Uh, I use this, again, diluted. Uh, it's in a bus tub over in one of my three bays, and we're just going to soak some of these parts. As you can see how nasty that is. I don't know if you can see in the film, but there's like that white crust. So we'll take this. I at least wanted to get it over that scum line there. You guys, I'm just popping off this tubing here. Held on by just these little clamps. Pull this up to loosen them. Little teeth hold them on. This is your supply too. See, it's getting really nasty in there. So I'll go soak this in the uh, same solution. All right, guys. Now that we have all the um, parts soaking, um, I'm going to dilute some of this in a bottle, 
and I'm just going to kind of spray the areas that are toughness. Up top, there's uh, some green scaling. Uh, you can see on the water trough here, there's some gunk there. My tray actually looks pretty good, um, but you, there's some Phillip head screws in here that you can just unscrew and they come right off. I'm not going to do it because it looks all right in there. Um, this machine's only a year old uh, and I've already done the cleaning once, so I just I did some diluting. This is exactly why you want to uh, get your ice out of there because all this gunk is going to fall down. And Guys, while this soaks, we're gonna screw off the parts over here. Procedures. So with the water still off, we're just going to purge all these chemicals out of here. All right, now I'm sure some of you guys got these floating around food safe. I feel everything as far as, man, I'm dropping everything here. HIV. I feel everything as far as HIV. I'm going to throw two tablets in there. Again, these are just sanitizer tablets. In this water here. And while I let you dissolve, I'm just going to start hitting the spots that uh, just really just need to be rinsed on so we're sanitized because uh, I'm going to load a, uh, I run a load of sanitizer through here. But I just want to get everything nice and clean. Alright, now I'm going
I'm gonna dump a little sanitizer in here. They're pretty diluted, plus I used two. I'm gonna set it to wash again. Wash is just gonna let that sanitizer cycle through the machine. I'll leave this for later because it was already labeled by my staff. Good job, staff. And while it just rinses through, I'm gonna give this one more spray, one more rub. Just check all your rubber seals. We actually have summer's coming up for us uh, in upstate New York here, so. Um, our business doubles, if not triples, uh, in the summer. So you'll notice, especially those of you who don't do this often, if you do this every six months, the first time I ever did it, I had no idea. I operated for like four years. Um, had no idea how to service tech to show me how to do it. Um, and my ice machine, like we, on the really hot days, I ended up finding myself buying, going on buying ice or borrowing it from another restaurant of ours. But after I cleaned it, um, the production jumped drastically. So that's another reason why I do this, not only for your customers and for your staff, but your efficiency of the machine will increase and the machine will be able to keep up a little bit better. That's about it. As soon as you're all done, um, you're gonna put your cover back on here. Uh, you'll switch this back to ice, um, and you should be good to go. You should notice a dramatic increase. I'm gonna leave it on wash a little bit. I'm also a super big clean freak, so um, I'm gonna leave it on wash, and I have to empty the bin anyways. So I'll leave it on wash while I empty the bin, and um, as soon as I get about halfway, I'll switch it back to making ice. That way the stuff that it does make will fall to the bottom. By the time it fills back up again and your staff starts to use it, the ice will definitely be clean. I have to quickly stop because I wish somebody said this to me the other day. I love this ice scoop, by the way. It protects your knuckles. If you're in the business, you know that's awesome. And it's also huge. This is why it's super important to either empty your ice bin, guys, or empty it after. Make sure you clean it out. You can see that gunk in there. Nasty. Nasty. the reminder, empty your, um, empty your ice bins or your buckets when you're done. Make sure you clean them out.
Alright guys, I'm about halfway through getting this empty, but I only have 5% left on my camera, so um, again, one final purge, you should be able to hear the water come out below. You can hear that pump working. And guys, that's it. Simple as that. I'm going to turn the ice machine back on. Make sure your clip's here, plug your uh, ozone cleaner back on, and you're good to go. Hope that helps, guys.